Well, let's start with feet, knees, and hips in alignment. So you want to think of the heels pointing towards the center of the glutes. You'll roll the shoulders back, pull the tummy in, engage your glutes. Inhale to prepare, exhale. Just roll back as long as your arms are and just hold it here. So you're gonna pull your belly button in and tuck your tailbone under. So you create that Pilates scoop. And then inhale to prepare. Exhale, dive forward with that forehead. Keep that belly button tucked in and feel that stretch. Let the head relax. And then you're gonna inhale, come up to straight back. And then exhale, let's roll all the way down this time. So you'll come all the way down to where your head hits the mat. Let the head float from side to side. Release any tension in the face, neck, and jaw. Bring the arms up towards the ceiling. Palms are facing one another. You're gonna reach like you're reaching for something out of your grasp, and then you're gonna pull those shoulder blades down onto the mat. Place the low back onto the mat as well, and engage the glutes. So this might feel a little bit awkward. It does to me, and it might to you. For some of us, this doesn't. Now go back to neutral spine. Okay, that's where you allow that natural curve in the low back. Now press the low back into the mat again in a pelvic tilt. You're keeping those scaps down on the mat and then go back to neutral once again. And then low back presses into the mat. This is imprint. And then back to neutral spine once again. Let's bring the arms down to our sides. Palms are facing down. So once again, those scaps or the upper back, you're gonna try and press down into the mat and not let that rib cage pop. So you really wanna feel the whole spine down on the mat, which is a struggle for me because my head comes forward a little bit. So now you're gonna press your right foot, sole of your foot, press it down into the mat. Notice how the whole posterior back of your leg fires and then release and then press down the left foot into the mat. Let's do it again on the right and then the left. So see if you can push both feet down so you'll really notice how everything fires. Press the low back into the mat and so now you've got the whole spine down on the mat and the posterior in the backs of your legs is firing as well. So it looks like we're not doing anything, but you really feel all the muscles working. Palms are pressing down into the mat as well. Good, now just relax and walk your feet a little bit closer towards your glutes and we'll prepare for the first bridge. So you're gonna inhale to prepare, exhale, press your low back into the mat, work your way up through the mid back all the way up to your shoulders. Once again, let's press that right foot into the mat and then press your left sole of the foot into the mat. Press both feet into the mat. Inhale to prepare and then exhale, roll down one vertebra at a time, especially taking your time in that low back area. Inhale to prepare, exhale, roll right back up to those shoulders. Press the left sole of your foot into the mat and let's bring the right knee up into tabletop. So you have a 90 degree. So in other words, the bottom of your leg is parallel to the floor. You'll straighten that leg up towards the ceiling bend it to the 90 and place it back down onto the mat. Same thing on the other side, you're gonna press that right sole of the foot into the mat, bring the left leg up, straighten, bend into the 90, place it back down. Let's return to the other side. So we'll bring the right knee up, extend the leg, come back to a 90 degree and come back down. Left leg, come on up. Extend the leg long, bend to a 90 degree, and back down. Now let's press back up into the highest bridge that you can get, 
and then we'll inhale, exhale, roll down one vertebra at a time. Take your time, especially in that low back area where you're probably a little bit tight. Now you're gonna walk your feet a little bit closer to your glutes, bring your hands behind your head and head flip. So just let your head float into your hands, let the elbows float out to the sides. Inhale to prepare and we'll exhale, curl up for one. Inhale back, exhale two. So working with the breath, see if you can press the soles of your feet into the mat even when you're doing these, because normally you wouldn't. This is four, five, engage your glutes, six, seven, eight, nine, and the last one is 10. Good, relax the head back down on the mat. And then we'll inhale to prepare, exhale, bring the right leg up, right knee up above the hip, and then the left knee up above the hip. Let's inhale, tap the right toe down to the mat, exhale, pull it back up. Inhale left, exhale up. Inhale right, exhale up. Inhale left, exhale up. Right, left, right, left. Let's go one more on each side. Right, and then the left. Good, let's pull the knees into the chest and roll slightly from side to side. Release any tension in your face, neck, and jaw. Good, let's place the soles of the feet back down on the mat, but this time have them touching. So the knees are touching as well. You're gonna squeeze those knees together with all your might so your inner thighs are working. Let's inhale to prepare, exhale, work your way up into a bridge. And you're just gonna drop those hips halfway down. Keep pressing those strong arms into the mat, and then you'll press up. Open the hip flexors and squeeze the knees together. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, keep those shoulder blades down, seven, press higher than you think you can for eight, nine, and ten, good. Now let's walk those feet away, so closer towards the end of your mat, keep those feet together, knees together, Squeeze those knees together. Bring the arms up towards the ceiling. Same thing, you're gonna press up for one. Press up for two. Squeeze harder than you think you can. Three, four. Pull those shoulder blades back for five, six, seven, eight, nine and the last one is ten good and you'll bring your arms down by your sides and roll down one vertebra at a time so you notice when you move your feet away from the glutes you're working more in the hamstrings when the feet are closer to your glutes you're working more in the glutes let's separate the feet so they're hip width apart walk them in closer towards your glutes so you're back in alignment You'll inhale to prepare, exhale, roll back up into a bridge. Let's extend the right leg up towards the ceiling and you're gonna drop the hips down and press up for one. So you're just isolating one side for two, three. Really think of opening up that hip flexor to four, five, six, seven, point the toe so you get length in the front of the ankle, eight, nine and ten now hold it here i want you to point and flex point and flex for two point flex three point and flex four and then point and then inhale to prepare exhale roll down one vertebra at a time take your time in the low back area now we'll switch over to the other side. So you'll inhale to prepare, exhale, roll up into your bridge. The left leg extends, point the toe. You'll drop the hips down halfway and press up for one. And two, three, keep using those strong arms. Keep pushing that right foot into the mat. 
Let's go for six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Hold it up here. Go higher than you think you can. And we'll flex and point for four, three, two. Here's the last one. So you're foot is pointed and then roll down one vertebra at a time. Let's pull the knees into your chest. Only this time separate the knees more towards your shoulders and rotate those ankles by drawing a circle with your big toe. Now let's circle the other direction. Good. Now let's take the ring. If you're at home and you don't have a ring, grab a pillow. That will help too. Get the same effect of working the inner thighs. So feet are going to be heels together, toes apart. Relax the head down and you're just going to squeeze that ring and release. So squeeze hard. Squeeze for two and three. Four. Squeeze for five. Pull the belly button in. Engage those glutes. Six, seven, and eight. Hold it. Let's bring our hands behind our head and head float. We'll inhale to prepare. Exhale. Squeeze for one and release. Squeeze for two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Let's hold it here. Now don't pulse the upper body, but pulse the lower. So you're gonna go eight, seven. Pulse the upper body, but pulse the lower. So you're gonna go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. Relax the head down and keep the ring there, but just relax your legs. Now let's bring the legs up into tabletop. So now you're pressing that low back into the mat. Or if you can do this in a neutral spine, you may, but otherwise press that low back into the mat. Bring your hands behind your head and we'll do the same series in tabletop. So you'll inhale to prepare, exhale one. Two, bring those heels together. Really squeeze those heels together because that exaggerates the inner thigh along with the ring. This is five, six, seven, and hold it up here. Pulse, they're just the ring. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Good job. Now let's release the ring. Place the ring around the sole of your foot. Lengthen the leg nice and long. Okay? So you're just going to press that heel up towards the ceiling. Do your best to keep your shoulder blades down. And now inhale to prepare. Exhale. Pull that leg closer towards your torso. So you're a little bit warmed up. So you can get a little stretch in that hamstring. Good. Place the left leg in and release the right. Same thing. You're just going to first start by pressing that heel up towards the ceiling. Inhale to prepare. Exhale. Pull in towards the torso so you get some length in that hamstring. Good. Now let's bring both feet through the center of the ring and the ring's right above the knees. You're gonna separate those feet just about as wide as the ring, but I want when you go up into the bridge that you're able to pull on that ring, okay? So if you're using a band, the same thing. So you're gonna inhale to prepare, exhale, roll up into your bridge, pull your ring apart and pull for one and release. And two, push those strong arms into the mat for three. And four, five. Don't let your feet roll out to the side. Keep all 
four points of the soles of the feet on the mat. Seven, eight, nine, and the last one is 10. Good. Let's inhale to prepare. Exhale, roll down one vertebra at a time. Now, once again, we're gonna go into tabletop. So I'd like you to bring your knees up right above your hips, bring your heels together, toes apart, so you have something to really press against. You're gonna pull those knees apart for one. Pull for two. Engage those glutes the whole time if you can. Three, four. So you're really thinking about the move. Five, six. Press those heels together, seven. Last one is eight. Good, let's bring your hands behind your head and head float. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Hold the 10th one here and just pulse it for 10. You're gonna go pull, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job, do what you need to do to recover, but don't take the ring off yet. You're gonna bring the ring up towards your ankles here. Separate your ankles so the ring stays in place. Point the toes. So come to a 90 degree. Good, good job. You're gonna inhale, drop down. Exhale, pull up. Nice and slow and controlled. Inhale, drop down. Exhale, pull up. Now I'm gonna ask you to press your low back into the mat so you might not be able to drop down very far. But what that does is keep your transverse abdominals, the low abdominals firing the whole time. So you're gonna drop, come back up, drop, engage those glutes, keep pressing that low back into the mat. Let's go two more times. Down, exhale up, and down, exhale up. Good, pull your knees into your chest, give yourself a little bit of a break, but keep the ring there. Now you'll extend the legs nice and long up towards the ceiling and you're just gonna pull apart. Let's flex the feet so you get lots of length through the calf muscles and you're just gonna pull and release. Pull for two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, let's bring our hands behind our head and head flute. Inhale to prepare, exhale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Let's get rid of the ring for the time being. And let's get ready for the 100. So remember with the 100, if it starts to get into your neck, you wanna just place the head down, even if it's just for a moment, and then come back up, okay? Or you can keep your head down. The last thing I want is for you to be tense in your neck, because then it takes it out of the abs and everywhere else that it's supposed to be. So inhale to prepare, exhale, roll up. Think of like scooping the earth, and then flip the palms down, come into tabletop, and we'll inhale to three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, 22, three, four, five, and exhale, two, four, five, 32, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, 42, three, four, five, and exhale, two, four, five, 52, three, four, five, and exhale, two, Three, four, five, sixty-two. Three, four, five, and exhale. Two, three, four, five, seventy-two. Three, four, five, and exhale. Two, four, five, eighty-two. Three, four, five, and exhale. Two, three, four, five, ninety-two. 
three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and there's your 100. Go ahead and relax, do what you need to do to recover. Some of us will want to tuck, and some of us will want to lengthen your legs long. Everybody's different, so whatever you find more relaxing to you. Good. So legs are nice and long. You're gonna flex your feet, bring your arms up towards the ceiling, palms are facing one another. So first I want you to just come into an upper body curl. You don't have to curl all the way up. Inhale to prepare, exhale, curl up, just like so. So if when we go into a full body curl, you can't go all the way up, just go to here. So you're gonna inhale back, Exhale, curl all the way up if you can. Otherwise, just stay in upper body curl. Drop the head, really feel the stretch, and just take a few natural breaths here. Pull the belly button in, engage the glutes, and on your next inhale, let's come up to a straight back, and then we'll exhale, roll all the way down. Good, inhale to prepare, exhale, curl up. Drop your head. Let's inhale, come up to straight back, and then exhale, roll down. Gauge those glutes. One more time, we'll inhale to prepare. Exhale, curl up. Drop the head. Inhale, come up to straight back, and exhale, roll down. Good. Relax the arms down by your side, or not by your sides, out from the shoulders with the palms up. Let's bend the knees, soles of the feet are on the mat, and let's drop the knees over to one side. Doesn't matter which side you choose. Do your best to really feel those scaps. That's the upper back on the mat, if possible. And then you're gonna inhale, bring the knees up to center, and then exhale over to the other side. Just relax here for a moment, breathe naturally. And then on your next inhale, you're gonna come up to center. Exhale, drop over to one side. On your next inhale, you'll come up to center and exhale, drop over to the other side. On your next inhale, let's come back up to center. Now lengthen both the legs long. Let's bring one leg up towards the ceiling, arms return down by your sides, point the toe. If it's easier for you to bend the leg in order to straighten the working leg, we call this the gesture leg. So in order to straighten the gesture leg, if you need to bend this knee, that's fine. Otherwise, straighten out the leg. Well, leg circle, you're gonna inhale and exhale over the midline, stop at the top for one. Inhale, exhale for two. Inhale, exhale for three. Inhale, exhale for four. Inhale, exhale for five. Inhale, exhale for six. Keep pushing those strong arms. This is seven. And the last one is eight. Good, let's switch direction. Inhale, exhale for one. Inhale, exhale for two. Inhale, exhale for three. Inhale, exhale for four. Inhale, exhale for five. Inhale, exhale for six. Inhale, exhale for seven. And the last one is eight. Good, clasp the hands, pull the knee into your chest. Really create some compression here. Pull that hip in tight so your biceps contract. Good, and release that leg down. Let's switch to the other side. So you're gonna point the toe up. Let's inhale, exhale over the midline to start for one. Inhale, exhale for two. Inhale, exhale for three. Inhale, exhale for four. Inhale, exhale for five. Six. Seven. Eight, great job, let's switch direction. Inhale, exhale for one. So you're trying to keep the body as still as you can for two, keeping that rib cage down, three. Inhale, exhale for four. Inhale, exhale for five. 
Inhale, exhale for six. Inhale, exhale for seven. And inhale, exhale for eight. Great, clasp your hands with the other forefinger on top. Pull that knee in, really create some compression in that hip joint. Your biceps are contracting, you're pulling so hard. And then you'll relax the leg down. Now, before we move on, I want to show you something. So if you bend that left leg and bring your right leg up, pull your shoulder blades back, your arms are up with the palms facing one another, and try to circle. It really is difficult to stay stable in the body. Two, three, because leg circles can get easy, so in order to make them a little more difficult. So now change direction. You're gonna circle around for four. So press that left sole of the foot into the mat for two, three, and your job is to stay nice and stable. The leg is the only thing that's moving. Good. Let's press the right sole of the foot into the mat, extend the left leg. Pull those shoulder blades back, circle around for one. Now this side's a lot easier for me. Two, three, but my circle's definitely wonky. And four, now switch to the other direction. One, two, three, and four. Good, do what you need to do to recover. Let's take that ring again, and we're gonna place that ring in between our ankles this time with straight legs. So you point the toes, and they're turned out a little bit. So you're squeezing that ring and then releasing. Squeeze and release. Squeeze for three, four, Five, engage those glutes if you can. This is seven and eight, good. Let's drop those legs down. So you're gonna inhale, but don't go very far because I'd like you to stay in imprint. Exhale as you pull back up. Inhale as you drop down. See if you can keep pressing those arms into the mat. Drop down, stay in imprint so it's not very far. And then one more time drop down. Now, bring those arms up towards the ceiling. Palms are facing one another. So you're going to drop down and pull up. So inhale as you drop. Keep squeezing. Exhale as you come up. Inhale as you drop down for three. Exhale as you come up. And last one. Inhale as you drop down for four and come up. Good. Place both of your feet in the ring and just pull back. Heels are pressing up towards the ceiling. Inhale to prepare, exhale, pull in closer towards your torso. I know, really good. So press that tailbone, pretend you're pressing it down towards the mat. I mean, it's never going to touch, but what my goal is to try to have that whole spine on the mat. Good. Excellent. Now let's bring that ring right back up above the knee again. Heels together, toes apart. Squeeze those knees together. So I want you to really feel how that works, the legs and the inner thighs, and then you're pulling apart here. Let's do another set with your hands and head float. We're gonna inhale to prepare, exhale, pull. One, two, three. Blow out that candle every time you come up. Four, five, that really works the transverse, those deep abdominals. Seven, eight, nine, and 10, good. Let's let go of the ring once again, and then we'll return to the series. So you're gonna do single leg stretch and 10, good. Let's let go of the ring once again, and then we'll return to the series. So you're gonna do single leg stretch. Left hand is right above the right, or right below the right knee. 
right hand right above the ankle. Let's curl up into upper body curl if that's comfortable for you. And we'll inhale, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Relax your head down. Do what you need to do to recover. And let's skip double leg stretch and go right into single leg straight leg stretch. So you're going to really pull that hamstring again. Come up and up. Upper body curl if it feels comfortable. Pull back behind the calf and pull for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's go ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Relax the head down, let the head float from side to side and release any tension in the face, neck, and jaw. Now bringing the hands behind the head, let's bring your right ankle to the left knee. You're gonna bring your right elbow down on the mat. You'll inhale to prepare, exhale, curl over for one, two. Engage those glutes if possible for three, the whole time, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Relax. Now let's switch over to the other side. So you're going to take that left ankle, put it on the right knee. Left elbow is plastered to the mat, right? Inhale to prepare. Exhale, rotate for one, two, Engage those glutes the whole time. Three, four, five, six. How about press the right sole of the foot down into the mat? Eight, nine, and 10. Good. Now, before you leave this posture, let's wrap our hands around that right thigh. Pull in, give yourself a hip stretch. We'll go back to the other side because I don't want to miss it on the other side. But you're going to pull in, really feel that hip stretch. Press the elbow into that left thigh. See if you can open up a little more. Rotate that right foot. So drawing a circle with your big toe. Now change direction if you haven't already. Good, pull the knees into the chest and then we'll switch over to the other side. So you're gonna clasp those hands around the left thigh, right elbows into that right thigh and push out, really dig into that hip the best you can and then rotate that left ankle. Rotate the other direction. Good. Now let's prepare for crisscross. So what you do here is just let your head float in your hands. You're gonna rotate around, which is why I like warming up the way we did for this one. So you're gonna cross, inhale, exhale, one, two, three, four. Point the toe, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Relax the head down, lengthen your legs long, or pull your knees into your chest, whatever feels right for you. Just take a quick break. And then pull your knee into your chest and let's roll up to seat. So, 
bring your legs just as wide as your mat. So you're not real wide. You're gonna take your ring and place it right, as long as you're on, you know, your arms are nice and long, meaty part of the palm is on the top of the ring. Roll your shoulders back, so try not to go into round back right away. You've got a nice straight back. Then you're gonna tuck your tailbone under, drop your head, and press down. So you should really feel that in your abs. On your next inhale, we'll come up to straight back. So flex your feet, inhale to prepare. Exhale, drop. Inhale, come back up. Inhale. Exhale, drop into round back, press down. Inhale, up. So you should feel it in your tummy and in your lats, right through here. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, drop. Inhale, up. One more time. Exhale, down. Now just hold it here. Breathe naturally, and you're just going to press down for one. Press down for two. Three, try to pull your belly button in, tuck your tailbone under, stay in round back. Five, six, seven, and the last one is eight. Good. Let's sit up nice and tall. Relax your feet. And if you're not comfortable sitting out with your legs like this, you can cross your legs. All I care about is that your back is nice and straight here, okay? So we're just gonna work the chest. So roll your shoulders back, pull your tummy in. Just try not to arch. You really wanna keep that straight back. Meaty part of the palm. Let's press for one. Press for two, three. So you can feel that chest working. Four, five, six, seven. Shoulders are down for eight, nine, Hold the 10th one, pulse it, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Pull and release, and pull and release, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven, eight, nine. So you can really feel your scaps here. And ten. Now hold that pull. Really feel those scaps. Push them down into your back pockets for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. If you take the ring, place it right at the sternum, right underneath your chest. And extend your legs long for this one, okay? So you're just gonna try and rotate as far as you can because your legs are extended, it'll be a little harder, and then come back center. You're gonna inhale, look over the other direction. Exhale, center. Around, center. Around, center. Let's go one more time each side. Release the ring and grab your band. So once again, however you sit that you have a nice straight back and you feel relaxed, I just want your posture to be really good. So you're gonna bring those palms up towards the ceiling. Elbows are into your waist. You don't have them squeezed in, but they're there, okay? And you're just gonna pull. You don't have to hold the band real tight either. Pull for two, three. Four. So now you're in your biceps, the fronts of your shoulders. Five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so now you're gonna bring those elbows forward a little bit. No stability. Pull for one. You'll feel it in your back as well. Two, upper back. Three, four. How about engage your glutes for the rest? Five, six, seven, and the last one is eight, good. Now you're gonna bring your arms straight out in front, okay? So just pull as wide as you can, and then release. So nice and slow and controlled on these. Pull, 
So you want your arms to be shoulder width apart when you start. Yep. So that way, bring them a little bit closer, Kelly. So that way you've got to pull even when you're here. And then you're just going to pull out and in. So you'll feel it all in the front of that shoulder. Pull out, push those shoulder blades down into your back pockets. Don't arch your back. I always tend to arch my back here. Let's go one more time. Pull and release. Good job. Okay, so relax down, relax your hands. Switch your hand grip. Now you're gonna bring your hand, your palms so they're facing down towards the ground. Again, your shoulder width apart, and you've got this band not pulled tight, but it's taunt. Bring it in towards your chest so your elbows are bent, and you're gonna pull one. So again, you're gonna feel those scaps working too. So I want you to really think about like you have a pencil back there and you're trying to bring those scaps together to touch it. Three, four. So it's not just about your triceps, it's about your upper back. Five, six, seven. So your elbows should be coming back. Eight, nine, I didn't mean to go to 10, but, and 10. Okay, so now you're gonna bring your hands out a little bit wider. If it starts to get into your neck, just quit. Roll your shoulders back and down, pull for one. Because I want it to stay back there in your scaps too. Three, how about engage your glutes for four, five, six, seven, last one is eight good now your arms are completely straight shoulder blades are down just pull out you only got to go for four here so nice and slow and controlled so now you're in the back of that shoulder pull for two pull for three good and the last one four excellent take that band like you're jumping rope you're like Putting it back behind your back, underneath your arms. You're gonna sit your arms up real close to your chest here, okay? So you have some resistance. You'll extend the right arm out, open it up so you get a nice opening through the front of your shoulder, bring it forward, and then relax it down. Let's switch to the other side. So you're gonna go out, open, back, and down. Good, let's go to the right, open, back and down and the left out open back and down good now both arms open come back and down and sometimes i can't do this one because my shoulder won't like it but today it feels good so hopefully it does for you too so out open try not to arch your back on this one this is another one where I really want to arch my back, don't. And down, now let's hold it out there. So you're gonna hold it here, open. Now just come over to the side, nice and slow and controlled. Hold it for three, two, and one. We'll come up back center, and then over to the other side for three, two, and one, good. Excellent. All right, release the band. Extend your legs nice and long, okay? And you'll flip that band, put it around the bottom of your, or the soles of your feet. So my arms are this long. That's where I'm going to grab the band, okay? So that way I have resistance when I pull in. So I'm going to pull in as far as my chest. See how I'm coming up right to here? And then you'll extend and pull and extend. So think of pulling those shoulder blades back, just like we talked about earlier. Like you have a pencil back there and you really want to squeeze it right in between those scapula, that upper back. So pull, engage your glutes. Let's go 10, nine, eight, seven. Try not to grasp that band too tight, six, five, because then your hands will pay for it later, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Now you're going to take that right 
side, look over your right shoulder. And it, the hand comes right to the chest and then release it. Let's do it, stay on that right side four more times, okay? So you'll go four. So look over the shoulder, three. Think of opening up the chest, opening up through the collarbone, last one. Good, let's do five on the other side. So you're gonna pull, release. Four, three, two, and one. Good, now alternate. So in between each one, I know this, this song, is always good. It always, it, you can't be in a crappy mood if this song's on. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna alternate, but I want you to look over your shoulder, look at your feet, look over your shoulder, look at your feet. That way I know you really are turning, okay? So you're gonna pull, release, look forward, pull, release, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. You know what it reminds me of? Old school cartoons. Yeah. Like remember like the black and white Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse? They would always have this music on. Okay, so release your band. Let's go to side work. Release your hands if you need to. Every time I use a band, my hands get really Stiff. Okay, so let's go to side work. So you're gonna lie down on your side. Make sure that you're lying with your head on your arm. So you're not up like on your elbow, like old school. I want you all the way down. That way you're in alignment, which is why we do that. So your knees back to that 90 degree. You've got that perfect right angle here. You're just gonna open and close. Two three, four, easy clamshells, but they feel good, five, six, my mask, seven, and eight, good. Now, knees together, leg up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, now mix it up. Bring the knee up and then the foot up. Knee comes up, foot comes up. Two more of these. So I'm just moving that femur in the hip socket. Good. Now let's lengthen out nice and long that top leg. Point the toe, circle, circle back. So you're opening up that hip flexor. Two, three, four, and five. Just go to five. Now let's change direction. So push back. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, so now flex the foot. You're gonna bring the foot forward right in front of you, but you're gonna keep the same distance the whole way between the ground and your leg. Then you're gonna point your toe and push back. I can hear some creaks and cracks coming out of me. Flex the foot, pull it forward, point the toe, push it back. Flex the foot, pull it forward. So try not to move around in this posture. You really wanna stay stable. You got one more and push back. Now bring that foot forward if you would in front Turn the toe down towards the ground, but try not to twist it in. You want to think of that ball mount. I got a hair stuck to me. Pushing out, right? So you're going to turn in. So you're going to tap the foot down. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Six, seven, and the last one is eight. Good. Pull that knee in, it'll feel good, because that way you get a stretch right where you were working. This is all glute mead. Extend that bottom leg down, flex the foot here. Okay, you're gonna lift that leg up and I want you to just hold it here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
and one. Good, let's do 10 singles. So you're gonna go one. So now you realize how high you can go. Two, three, four. Try not to turn that foot in. Make sure the ball mount, that meaty part of your foot is pushing away from you. I lost count, let's go three, <laughs> two, and one. Good job, let's switch over to the other side. So once again, you wanna think about having that knee up to a 90 degree angle right here. So you've got a perfect right angle. It's that way you're in alignment. Try and keep your hips squared right on top of one another, okay? And you're just gonna pull to open up that knee. And again, you might hear some creaks and cracks. Two, at least out of me, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Now knees together, bring the foot up. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, and eight. Let's mix it up. So you'll bring the knee up, down, toe up, and down. Two, and up. We're only doing four of these. Three, and up. Last one, bring the knee up, and then the foot. Good. Let's extend that leg nice and long. And then you're gonna just circle back. Remind you, you wanna really push that leg back for one. Press back for two. So if you even see your foot, it should only be on the front of your circle. So you really wanna push it back. And then five, are we at five? Okay, now let's turn the other direction. One, two, three, push back. Make sure your glute is working. Four and five, good. Let's bring that leg forward, flex the foot though, okay? And then you're gonna point as you push back and open up that hip flexor, flex the foot, pull it forward, point and push back, flex, forward, point and push back, flex forward, point and push back, forward, point and push back, last one, forward, point, and push back. Now, you're gonna bring that leg forward. So remember, you don't wanna roll at that ankle. You just wanna push that ball mount out and then turn the toe in down. So you'll hit down for one, two, three. One side's always easier than the other. This is my hard side. Five, six, seven, and the last one is eight. Good. Pull the knee in so you'll get a nice stretch through there. Extend the leg nice and long. Flex the foot, okay? And we'll pick that foot up. Hold it up as high as you can for 10, 9, 8. You can even push this knee into the mat. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now let's just do 10 singles, okay? So you're going to pull up for 1, 2, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Try not to let that foot turn in. Nine and 10, good. And relax the leg down. Now let's turn to our tummy. Okay, so now elbows are directly underneath the shoulder if you can if you can lift up from here, do it. I really have a hard time doing this one. So you wanna really push your shoulder blades down here. So for me, that's a stretch right here. But if you can lift up, go for it. Everybody's built different. My arms are really long. So if you can go all the way up, yeah, that looks good. Shoulder blades are down. As long as your shoulders are down, good. Tap those elbows back down and let's come back up. So actually you're inhaling as you come up and exhaling as you drop down. Inhaling, spread the fingers nice and wide. Keep those shoulder blades down in your back pockets. Let's go three more. 
So we'll go three. Inhale as you come up for two. And come on down and last one. Good. Now, if you can stay here without your back getting to you, I want you to lift that right leg. For me, it's just too much. I have to come down to here, so that's okay too. This is a modification, but if you can lift that leg up and still, great. So pull up for one, two, three, four, five, Keep those shoulder blades down, six. We're only going to eight, seven, and eight. Great, let's switch to the other side. So you'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice job. Now you're gonna sole of the foot you're going to bend your knee and the sole of the foot to reaching for the ceiling or the tent. So you're going to push up for one. Don't let your feet turn in. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. I don't have to tell you to squeeze your glutes because you are. Six. <laughs> you can't help it. Seven. Last one is eight. Great. Relax that leg down. Let's switch to the other side. Press up for eight. Seven, six, pull your belly button in, even though you're lying down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now mix it up. You're gonna bring that heel towards your glute, right? So you're flexing the foot, then you're gonna point the toe. You'll extend the leg long. You're trying to lift it up off the mat, and then you'll relax it down. This is single leg kick, so you'll go heel, toe, extend the leg nice and long, but lift it up, and down. Heel comes into the glute, point the toe, extend the leg nice and long, and relax. Heel, toe, extend, and relax. Let's do it again on each side. Heel, toe, extend, and relax, last one. Heel, toe, extend, and relax. Now, you gals that were up on your elbows come all the way down. So you're gonna lift one leg and then the other leg. If your back, if it doesn't bother your back, I want you to just relax down. Then you're gonna lift up and down. Lift up and down. Try not to turn the feet in. So it really takes some effort for me to push that meaty part right behind the big toe up and back. Let's go three more. Three, two, and one. Now, see if you can hold it up there, just for eight counts. You're gonna bring both those legs up, hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, relax down. Extend your arms nice and long, and you're gonna alternate, so you'll lift your, I'm gonna bring my left arm up and my right leg up. So I'll lift up, hold it for five, four, three, two and one and relax down let's do it again hold the right arm up with the left leg five four three two and one and relax down and then again hold it up for five four three two and one and relax down and hold it up for five four three two and one now let's just do a set of singles so you're gonna go one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Take your strong arms, press them right underneath your shoulders. Bring your knees in till you're in tabletop or table, and you're just gonna stretch, drop your head, pull your belly button in. 
Think angry cat. Bring your hips down towards your heels. Reach. And then relax. Bring your hips all the way down. Separate your knees. Reach right through the center. So stretch in a child's pose. Come on up to seat. Let's reach one arm up, stretch over to the side. Reach the other arm up and stretch over to the side. Let's take a nice deep breath, inhale, exhale. Let's do that two more times. Inhale up, exhale down, last one. Inhale up, and exhale down. Good job, namaste.